They say that working smarter beats working harder. But what about working faster? Well, all I know is seeing rapid workers in action is incredibly satisfying. From the world's fastest pizza maker to double-handed egg crackers, let's take a speed run through some of the world's fastest workers. Any good chef will tell you that a cook must bring soul to a recipe, which may explain the uh, passion in this next clip. This is the Nakatani Dao Rice Cake Shop in Nara, Japan, who specialize in the making of a traditional Japanese dessert called mochi. The process of making mochi is labor-intensive, and the act of mashing the steamed rice to create the correct consistency is treated as a ceremony in Japanese culture. The ceremony requires a superhuman amount of accuracy and rhythm to achieve that level of speed. And the Nakatani Dao Rice Cake Shop has become world famous for its thrilling mochi pounding performances. The grunting, which provides a rhythmic guideline, of course being more than enough to make sure that these cakes are always the best. On to some more sweet treats, this next swift sugarhead produces some clever confectionery that's as much a treat for the ears as it is eye candy. With rock candy being naturally brittle when cooled into shape, all it takes is a well-aimed whack to initiate a glorious shower of sugary color. And if it tastes as good as it looks, anyone buying from this candy man is in for a gift for all the senses. Staying sweet now, check out this street food performance that chops, dips, and flips with all the grace of a ballet dancer. These street food chefs are making some of India's favorite snacks on the busy streets of Kochi in the state of Kerala. Banana chips are a simple but delicious snack, and these guys make it look like it's raining the stuff. Fried in coconut oil and flavored with salt, this sweet and savory combo is extremely popular, so the need for speed is paramount to serving all their hungry customers. But when it comes to serving up snacks to customers in a hurry, no one does it faster and with more vigor than our next speedy worker. This crazy-handed crepe connoisseur is Julio Lopez, the head honcho at a pancake and ice cream joint in Puerto de Alcudia on the Spanish island of Mallorca. Preparation is the key to Julio's secret to becoming the island's most celebrated crepe maker. 
You can see, he's got everything he needs no more than an arm's length away to create his myriad of fillings. Delivering deliciousness at breakneck speeds, this Pancake Pro is known to rustle up over 300 crepes every single day during vacation season. Looking more like a dessert-dishing DJ dancing over his twin turntables, Julio's hands are a blur as he cooks up a storm. But Julio's not the only one with flippin' fast pancake skills. The treats being made here are called doriyaki, a Japanese treat consisting of two small pancake-like patties that are filled with a sweet red bean paste. Complete with a rhythmic clang every time a doriyaki is flipped over, this must be the most delicious-looking drum solo of all time. Speaking of going solo, how about some french fries as a starter? That's right, this kid just cut up a whole portion of french fries in just under 7 seconds, and all while casually looking up at the camera, not once looking down at his handiwork or the knife. If that were me. I think I'd be taking a little more care to make sure my hand didn't end up like that potato. While those ninja skills aren't exactly something you can learn in a day, sharp knives are an essential in every cook's inventory, and you can get yourself on the way to being the ultimate kitchen champion with the help of today's sponsor, Kamikoto Knives. Every Kamikoto blade goes through a rigorous 19-step process and is made from 100% Japanese milled steel, so you know you're getting the most authentic cut. Not only can these knives give you a smooth, satisfying slice every time, but they also make for the perfect gift, arriving in a beautiful, heavy-duty ash wood box for safe storage. When I opened mine, the weighted, balanced feel to the knife struck me immediately and the impressive sharpness made slicing through meat a breeze. Luckily for you guys, Kamikoto has an amazing sale going on right now, with an exclusive offer for all you Be Amazed viewers. You can use the discount code BEAMAZED at checkout for an extra $50 off your purchase, or visit kamikoto.com slash beamazed. Now back to some super skilled speedsters. There's always that one guy at work that takes any opportunity to show off, but when you're unlucky enough to find yourself next to him, it can really flip your day upside down. Check it out. Going too fast to even take a glance at how his furious flipping technique is affecting the rest of the production line, this factory worker is truly a master tosser. I'd hate to play flip cup against this guy. Just look at the other guy's face. I wonder how that amazing assembly line worker would fare against this wicked fast factory hand. Tasked with replacing reels on cotton, it seems everyone in this factory has the golden touch. But there can only be one reigning champion, and it's undoubtedly this guy.
By 2030, it's estimated that robots could take over a massive 20 million jobs around the world. And while technology usually takes the gold for efficiency, one man is on a mission to prove that progress means nothing against pro-grass. This trim reaper is Simon Damont, and that horror movie worthy tool he's wielding is a scythe, which is essentially a very old fashioned lawnmower. That petrol fueled brush cutter had absolutely no chance against Simon. Watching him sweeping through that grass like butter, I think it's pretty clear to see who the real machine is here. From plowing to planting now. And while you might think that harvesting by hand seems like a pretty boring and tedious job, this next clip begs to differ. <laughs> These rice planters in the Philippines really do have it all. Speed, efficiency, rhythm, and most importantly, a pretty epic live soundtrack. Forget whistle while you work, I'm going to be trying out their beatboxing throat singing combo while I work from now on. That being said, I don't envy how their backs must feel at the end of a long, hard day's work. Whew, I need a second to catch my breath, and maybe a snack. And, well, they say that to make an omelet, you have to break a few eggs. But I'm not sure exactly how many hundreds of omelets these guys are planning on eating. father and son duo put on a truly cracking performance and managed to shell 1,040 eggs in just under 7 minutes. Not only can these guys crack an egg at speed with just one hand, but they're using both hands at the same time, alternating on either side so not a single second is wasted. If you like your eggs over easy, talk to these guys. They make it look easy as pie. From one hearty food to another now, Check out this guy's speed at slicing bread for donor kebabs. Musst du zu Hause auch das Brot schneiden oder sag mal die Frau das? Wie viel Brote backt ihr am Tag? An einem Tag wie viel Brote? Sechs? Siebentausend.
launching the carb comets into a growing mountain of bread, this guy is probably faster than some bread slicing machines out there. I guess job security is the yeast of his concerns. But what's bread without something to go in it? I think we need some sandwiches on the way. Stat. And I've got just the man for the job. This guy is even speedier than a real subway train, managing to complete an entire sandwich in just 41 seconds. If I tried that, I'd be finding pieces of lettuce scattered around the kitchen for weeks. Globally, Subway serves around 5,300 sandwiches every 60 seconds. I reckon this guy's responsible for about 5,299 of those. The whole point of fast food is that it's, well, fast. But there are some fast food workers out there that take their industry's goal extremely literally. This guy is certainly loving his day at work at McDonald's, and for good reason. Wrapping 10 burgers in just 18 seconds, this hasty-handed burger pro was bringing the flavor fast that day. Now, I know what you're thinking. Surely it can't get better than that. Well, let me introduce you to the true Burger King. We're back. That's right, this fast food royal doesn't just wrap the burgers fast, he makes them rapidly too. Constructing one of BK's famous Whopper burgers in 8 seconds flat, this guy looks set for the fast food Olympics. Now, if you're wondering what would really happen if you brought together a whole pack of fast, fast food workers and pit them against each other to win the crown for the speediest service, Look no further than the Domino's fastest pizza maker competition. All the way around here. All the way around. All the way around. Why are you going to bring the sauce off by the out to the edge? Bring the sauce by the out to the edge. You can bring out your pepperoni at 379. Last five. All the way around. 379. 379. No, no. The pizza chain has their very own speed competition every year, where workers from branches across the globe compete for the title. And as you saw, they get hyped. These guys take this supremely seriously and undergo hours of practice while on the job, as you can see in action here. Former world's fastest pizza maker winner Rene de Goya can make three large pizzas of different toppings in 41 seconds. That's just 13.7 seconds per pie. Rene proves that you can have both quantity and quality if you're in his pizza making hands, 
and he most certainly delivers. Then how about some dipping sauce with your pizza? Problem is, we're gonna need someone who can keep up with Renee. Luckily, I think I've got the perfect contender in mind. Ah, perfection. This kitchen manager uses pinpoint precision in his sauce-pouring performance, with not a single cup's edge touched by any spillage. I'll bet no one else in the kitchen can catch up to this kind of saucy speed. No one knows about the need for speed better than Formula One teams, and this pit crew at the 2013 Melbourne F1 put the pedal to the metal just as much as the driver. As with any pit crew, their job is to make sure that drivers are out as quickly and safely as possible. While some crew members use wheel guns to remove and fit wheel nuts, others remove the tires, while more bring the new tires to be fitted, all while front and rear jacks lift the car in the air. Members of the pit crew need to be very physically fit, and teamwork is everything. If just one of the squad members slip up, the whole thing could end in disaster. Thankfully, though, these guys are a well-oiled machine, taking just four seconds to remove and replace the car's track-worn tires. Man, I wouldn't want to be the one who lets the team down. Then you'd really feel the wrath of the fast and the furious. They say teamwork makes the dream work, and this next speedy squad take that idea to literal different levels with their hypnotic work. This is a group of incredible construction workers in Africa who prove that men can work with all the dynamism of machines. While those construction workers had a whole team to keep their cement shoveling train on the tracks, some speedy men of labor work best solo. This blitzing bricklayer doesn't need a partner on the job. With skills like that, he must be a whiz at Tetris. Moving from land to sea now, they say great fish don't swim in shallow waters. And this next master of his craft jumps straight in at the deep end with his speedy skills. For any vegans watching, now might be the time to look away. Because we're about to fish fillet.
This tuna tearing champion is able to carve an entire giant tuna fish in under two minutes. Expertly carving each fillet, this top-notch knife wielder looks like he's just stepped out of Mortal Kombat with that perfect finishing blow. Fishtality. Which of these fast workers impressed you the most? Have you got any special speedy talents of your own? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.